Glock 18, Gen 3, one in the head. You want free V-Bucks? Come get the car. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Can you tell me? What? I said where the brownies. Oh, I thought you said. Damn. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today, I'm going to be comparing the Glock 17 Gen 4 to the Glock 18C Gen 3. All right, so we're going to start off with packaging. They both come from Elite Force, and they both come in like this little box. The Glock 18C box is a little bit bigger because it comes with a 50 round magazine. So we got the 17, the 18C, and the 19, but I won't really be comparing the 19 in this video because as you can tell from the boxes, this is a CO2 power air gun and these are um gas powered. So you know it's not the most accurate representation of the Glock 19. I will be getting the Glock 19X soon that's um gas powered and has blowback. So when that comes in, I'll compare it to these, but we're gonna focus on comparing these two today. When you open the box, both of the guns come in like a little plastic bag like this. As you can tell, they got the same markings, the Glock, model number, Austria 9mm. Got the nice slide catch right here. Everything look nice. Same with the Glock 18C. Got the Glock markings, model number, Austria 9mm. Working slide. The full auto switch, that kill switch. This is a better look at the magazine that comes with the Glock 17. I love these mags so much, but then you just flip it over. That's where you load the 20 round for the BBs. And this is the magazine that come with the 18C. This is that 50 stick, the whole 50 BBs. Look crazy. Bullet count on the back. It feels pretty heavy too, like I said. This is where most of the weight come from the 18C. Hammer time. Both got the iron sights, look very nice. The 18C is a little different right here at the end of the barrel, got the little hole. And then from the other side, pretty much the same. Both got the officially licensed product of Glock, the little serial number. Take down pins, work on both of the guns so you can disassemble these, clean them out, adjust the hop up on them. One difference between the 17 and the 18C that I like on the 18C more is the texturing of the handle. As you can see with the 18C and with my 19 as well, they both got that nice texturing on the side. On the back, it's a little different. But with the Glock 17, it's just the same all over. It's just those dots all over, which is all right. But I do like, you know, the different patterns of the Glock 18C and the Glock 19. All right, now let's compare the stats of these guns. So the Glock 17 going first, it is gas blowback. It shoots at 290 feet per second. So that's a little weird to me because the Glock 18C shoot at 300 feet per second. So why they make the Glock 17 shoot 10 feet per second slower than the Glock 18C? Like they couldn't just round it up to 300 and they both shot the same feet per second, bro. They both had to work in blowback system, as you can see. Um, they both are gas powered. The magazine for the 18C come with 50 rounds and the 20 round come with the Glock 17. But like I said, these are interchangeable. So that's just the mag that they send you with it. But you can buy a drum for it. You can buy another 50 stick. You can buy whatever you want. And as long as it look like that at the top, then you valid. This Glock 18C is a Gen 3. You can see right there, Gen 3. Meanwhile, this Glock 17 is a Gen 4. They both had the lockback feature, so... Both of them, when you shoot, they lock back. I love that. Both green gas powered. So with the Glock 17, the magazine is a little different. As you can see, there's no gas valve to put the hole up right there. So what you got to do is you got to pull this little switch up right here and then slide this off. And when you slide this little piece off, you put the gas right there. You fill it up. It's good to go. With the mag that come with the Glock 18C, it's all at the same spot. So that's where you put the gas and push this button to empty the gas out the mag. We done looked at both of the guns and we know that the Glock 18C shoot 10 feet per second faster, but we are gonna see if that 10 feet per second really do anything different than the Glock 17 when we shooting at the same box. All right, so I loaded both of the magazines full with my .26 millimeter biodegradable BBs. The link in the description for these BBs if you wanna check them out. Let's get it. 
The Glock 17 going first. One in the head. Glock 17, Gen 4. All right, I flipped that mag up again. It got a little space, but whatever. Oh. Yo, yo. It ain't locked back that time. Cause I was shooting blanks at the end. But that magazine real cold. That gas coming out fast for that 17. This is that 18 right here. Glock 18, Gen 3. One in the head, 50 stick on it, semi-auto. So that was the 18 shooting. I just shot the 17. Now let's compare that damage. All right, so, I mean, the 17 putting in that work, I see like one BB stuck right there. I see another BB stuck right there too. So it's valid, 290 feet per second. Glock 18C, I done seen a couple of them joints stuck right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I got some. I got six stuck. Look like it's a big hole right there. That joint went straight through, straight through, straight through. So I guess that 10 feet per second is doing a little bit of a big difference, I guess. So I guess the 10 feet per second faster um, shot with the Glock 18C does a little bit more damage than the Glock 17. But overall, both of these guns are pretty good. The 18C is like $40 more expensive. I think it goes for like $220. And the Glock 17 go for like $180. I got both of these off Amazon, but every time I try to link them in the description for y'all, they sell out like the same day I post the video. So I don't know if like somebody buying them in bulk or if like, I don't know what going on, but every time I buy one, it sell out right after. But yeah, the link in the description for both of these guns. So if it say sold out, try evike.com. Like I said, try Umarex. Be careful on eBay. Be careful trusting people online saying they can get you one. But wait for them to come back in stock. If enough people um hit, remind me when this item come back in stock or something and they see that a lot of people are trying to get it, then they'll probably restock it faster. But other than that, um, this has been my review. Both of these guns are really good. I would recommend getting both of them if you wanted to. Glock 18C, I did an unboxing on it. Got the full auto. So check out my other video if you want to see that. And I did an unboxing on the Glock 17 Gen 4. So check out those other videos. I will be doing challenges. And I'm doing a giveaway at 20k subs. So if you want a chance to win one of these BB guns, make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on my next video, man. Stop making fun of me in the comments saying I don't have real guns. All I have is BB guns. And I'm too old to play with BB guns. I'm not f***ing allowed to have no real guns right now, bruh. Wait till I get all this shit down.